welcome back to my channel. I'm Annette and this is a Vintage Splendor, your favorite destination for vintage thrifting and just all around style. Well, today we are in full blown summer mode because if you are in LA, you know, you get it. It's about 100 degrees outside and we are going to be in the summer vibes for the next, I don't know, five months here. This is my favorite season. I always look forward to shopping for really summery pieces and I'm excited to take you along. So let me tell you what I'm shopping for today. So first thing always on my list are summer dresses, but I'm looking for very, very specific dresses. So the first one is cottage core inspired dresses. Cottage core has been around for several years. It's not going away anytime soon. And I've been a fan of the trend for two decades. So I'm always looking for those really beautiful floral dresses that remind you of the English countryside. And then in the other column, I'm looking for loud tropical print dresses. Just think of something you would pick up on your Hawaiian, Jamaican, or Fijian vacation getaway from the gift shop. That's the vibe I'm going for today, and I'm excited to shop for them. The other piece is a skirt. You know I love my skirts. I mean, today I'm wearing a skirt with a tank and then this layering piece, but I wear skirts a lot, and I wear them throughout the year, but I'm looking for some fun, punchy colors, but also some really good neutrals that remind me of the ocean. So those are two different color palettes I'm going for today. So I want like the colorful prints, but I also want something that would belong in a really minimalist beach house. So I am open to any styles, but I would love to find something that's a little bit flowy and then something that has a little bit more structure. And the last item I am looking for is two piece sets. So this could be a skirt and a top, it could be vest and pants, it could be a blazer and, and pants, but I'm looking for really, really like flowy, like cotton and linen. So imagine like a leisure suit, like imagine if this top came with matching just casual pants, that's the vibe I'm going for. I'm open to any colors and any prints, but I want a set that I can pair together style separately, and especially on those days where I'm just busy and on the go, but I just want to look instantly stylish. I feel like sets are such a great way to do that, especially if I want an alternative to dresses. So those are the three things on my list, but I am known to get a little bit distracted when I am shopping because if I see a really good find, if I see a good deal, I'm going after it. Today we're heading to Society of St. Vincent de Paul, Los Angeles. Big name for a very, very big thrift store. It's one of my favorites. I always find gems anytime I'm there. I just love it. They always have really good vintage pieces, but they also have some contemporary and really good pieces that you could thrift there. And I just love shopping there. So let's get started. So this is their like bougie handbag and shoes section plus jewelry. I'm gonna look in this section once I look throughout the rest of the store. As you can see, this store goes all the way back and this is just the women's section. Don't ever be scared to go behind the counter because this is where they sometimes hide the good stuff. This is mostly knit two pieces. Not the summer vibes I'm going for, but this might have some potential for a cute little layering piece. And so you could see the pricing. It's not the cheapest, but their stuff is really good. I'm going to shop in the dresses. Not wedding, but you know, between all of these racks i think i can find some summer dresses that i need and my trick is really to go one by one here because there are gems tucked in <music> so do not sleep on vintage half dance and like little dressing robes and gowns because they can be dressed up, stay with me. So sometimes they are polyester, sometimes they're satin, sometimes they come in silk. They have this really nice zipper detail and you can actually zip it down, do a belt, 
do some huge earrings, put your hair up, and it's a really comfortable, casual, but very dressed up date night outfit. But then if you like, like to take a shower, hang out, let your hair air dry, and sip some wine while you read a book on your patio, this is the perfect thing to wear. So while I think this is a summer essential, I'm not buying it because I just bought a cotton one and I prefer cotton to poly, but I just love this print. And I think this is really, really fun. This is when I get into super fashion stylist mode. This looks like something somebody picked up on vacation. Love the colors, love the print mix. I would totally grab this if it were a maxi length, maybe a different material, maybe like 100% cotton or a little bit. And if it had a little bit more structure to it, it's just really pretty. But I just think this gives too much like lazy vacation vibes versus chic vacation vibes if you get my inspo. This one is not vintage, but it has potential. I think with the right belt, she could be cute. It's going to be a little big on me because it's a large, so I'm going to think about it, but may also work is a skirt if I do love it and want to rework it, but that just may be too much work and too much money. I have found really great silk slip dresses here, plus a gunny sacks dress. That's why I'm really digging through the dresses because I have had luck here. I really, really hope I could find a gunny sack style dress and a slip dress because those are core pieces that I like to have for the summer. So that is why I'm going to put a lot of time and effort into the dress section before moving on to skirts and then pants. I'm going to keep going to the other side. This isn't a lingerie, it's a cute little summery top. Still has the, oh, so funny. So this has the PR tag on it. So this was probably in a showroom and the PR company probably repped BCBG Generation. And even though this is modern brand, I kind of like it. I'm gonna try this on. Victoria's Secret. Okay, look at this. I don't have a gold slip. Look at how pretty this one is. This one has a really, really nice print to it. Oh. Manifestation works. It works. Next section I'm actually gonna look is their suit section because they have a very, very big selection. And yes, there are a lot of 19, 90s skirt suits but there are also really good linen suits tucked in and right now that is the moment not on my summer list and i'm trying to stay focused today but look at all that's going on on this blazer this is like bedazzled goodness and then there's a nautical inspired stripes and these buttons are totally different i don't even know this would be such a cool set to have for the winter, but I'm focusing on summer today. Unless it's a really, really special find, I'm not gonna go beyond summer today. Okay, stay with me on this one. I think this definitely has a lot of potential. Love the color. I think in the winter and the fall, I could, it's actually, it's a skirt set. I forgot to mention that. Tuck in the sweater into the skirt with boots. But then in the summer, I could pair this with my silk top shorts and then do the skirt with a bandeau top and a belt. I'm moving on to skirts and I'm looking for two specific items. One is a maxi and I prefer something that's straight line or a pencil skirt in cotton or in linen and i'm going for like sarong style vibes i just want something that's very easy really comfortable to wear and i can just throw on a tank or a little bandeau top and i'm done the other is a broomstick skirt and if you're not sure what those are I, if i find one i'll show it to you but it's kind of like a pleated or like ruffled skirt and it gets like these little threads in it 
because it's wrapped around a broomstick to dry. It's kind of a weird process. Yay, this is exactly the style of skirt I had in mind. And the reason I love these is because it looks like a sarong, but it holds the shape. So sarongs sometimes get loose. They sometimes turn into a flare skirt. A skirt that's already designed to look like a sarong is going to hold its shape. So I'm excited. Try it on. It's $9. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, I found a broomstick skirt. So I'm going to hold it to you so you can see there's like that crinkling to it. And you get that crinkle because when they wet the material, they wrap it around a broomstick to dry. So cool, right? Anyway, so this is a very neutral palette for me, but I love blues and, you know, I like some variety in my closet. I don't need to be like super loud and bright all the time. I mean, I do, but I'm just trying new things. This is a bigger size. It's an XL, but I'm going to try it on. Sometimes things fit. Sometimes they're too big. Sometimes they're too small. That's why I always say try something on if you think it fits because sizing varies so much between vintage and even contemporary so if you think it'll fit try it on and then make your decision from there okay i'm gonna check the go back rack here i feel like the go back rack here gets filled up every five minutes so i try and hit it between every single section that i look at and i'm glad i did because i found this dress it's perfect for summer somebody obviously picked it up on vacation i love that it has this little tie waist like this is the vibe I was going for. Just like really easy summer dresses that I could jazz up with my own jewelry and my flair. And it's like very easy to wear, especially when it's like literally 110 degrees out. And another piece, this is definitely vintage. Look at that really pretty print. Okay, I'm gonna have to show this to you full length, but it has serious potential. It's $40. This place knows vintage because contemporary stuff is usually very inexpensive, but the vintage is always double the price, but I get it. It's more in demand. And if it's a really good piece, I don't mind spending it because our vintage here is pretty good. So I didn't find any sets that I wanted because I was specifically looking for cotton and linen. So I moved on to tops and here I am looking for vests and you know, I love my vests when they are structured and very fitted because then I can wear them as tops, but I can also leave them open. So that is what I'm looking for. If I do find a cute camisole or a shell in cotton or linen, again, think like very breathable summer fabrics, then I will get that. But I've got vests on my mind. This is gorgeous. Just found this in the go back rack. Look at that. Beautiful embroidery see how much it is it's thirty dollars which is a pretty good price if you compare it to vintage shops but it's not something that i want i like caftans that have prints throughout and that are maxi this is going to hit me right under the knee and that's not a good length for me and while it's beautiful i love anything with embroidery especially if it's hand done i'm going to pass on this one I'm gonna put it back for somebody else to discover. So I swung back around to the lingerie department because here they have pajamas and lingerie separate. And I found a lot of pajama sets. And I have a question for you. How many pajama sets is too many? I'll wait for an answer. The answer is the limit does not exist. So I'm gonna try these on and see if any of them are contenders found a very glamorous corner for myself right here and as you can see this slip is sheer but it makes it perfect for me because i have so many other slips and i can layer this i just love the gold color i love that i could dress it up i could probably add another neutral or maybe a bodysuit under and wear it as evening wear but i do love it as just a go-to casual slip I can add to my collection. I love Victoria's Secret slips. So this is going in the yes pile. I love this skirt. This is exactly the shape I was going for. I want it to be really just straight pencil maxi skirt. And this is perfect. I love the color. I think styling is going to be super easy for me. And I think this is another keeper. 
oh, this dress is literal perfection. It is exactly what I had in mind. I love it. I love that it ties at the waist. It hugs my curves. I just love this tulip slip slit in the front. Oh, so cute. Okay, love this maxi dress. I love that it has sequins and beads on the top. And then it does a nice little print and color mix. I think it would look really cute with a belt. But I also just like the idea of leaving it as is and dressing it up for date night. Works well with my clogs in terms of the lane. I think it'll just fit a little bit better when I'm not wearing a skirt and a tank top under it. Love this one too. I typically avoid anything contemporary, but I love that this top is mesh it's breathable and it's like a nice crop length so i could wear it with jeans and a lot of other pieces i think it's just going to be one of those really easy styling pieces for summer and i like that it's colorful i'm going to think about it a little bit because will i wear it for the long term i'm always thinking about the life cycle of pieces because i don't want to buy something and just wear it once I want to buy forever. Look at how cute this skirt would be if only I wore my size. It's so big, I can't even pull it up, but I had high hopes for it. I got distracted by really good pieces. How cool is this? This is just everything gaudy in one sweater. It's so hot in here. I don't want to try it on, but I may just to ensure the fit. But I think I might get this. I think this would be so cute with jeans or even with a skirt and some boots during the fall. But, you know, even on a chilly summer night, I can make this work. She's a yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've got the goods and a couple of pieces. We're 25% off, which is always so great to hear. There was a little bit of drama, which I will explain when I get home, but let's go home and do a haul. And we're back. But first, I'm going to tell you about the little bit of drama while I was thrifting. You know that gorgeous Victoria's Secret slip dress? Well, while I was trying on pieces, I didn't notice that someone came and stole that beauty from my cart. But they realized that I was videotaping everything and left it in a totally different department when they overheard me talking to one of the employees that I was going to scan my videos to see who took it. So that was the little bit of drama. And I'm so glad that I have her again. With that said, this was the gorgeous girl that caused the drama. I loved her. You know, I can't say no to a Victoria's Secret slip dress. They are my favorites. They just go with everything. They're perfect for summer. Here's a close up of this beauty. So it has this really pretty silky print throughout and then it's just a sheer material throughout since she's sheer i'm going to layer some of my other slips under it during the summer i'm going to keep it really simple with a silk slip that is a little bit shorter and in an ivory tone and probably do some belts and jewelry and then i think for winter i can wear a nice black bodysuit or a turtleneck and then do maybe boy shorts and boots and just have fun with it. I'm very excited. And she was only $9.99. I was super excited to pick up this dress. I mean, I just love it because she's colorful. She does the print mix for me. And you know, I love a good embellished moment right up top. So as I mentioned at the store, I like the idea of just keeping the styling of this dress very simple, maybe even foregoing a belt, but I also feel like it would look cute with this belt. I felt like I needed to cinch it in at the waist, but I just like the idea of just putting my hair up, doing some huge earrings, simple sandals, and wearing it for date night. Super cute, and this was $19.99, and I think this was the piece that was 25% off. I had to get this sweater, and this was 25% off. So it was $32 plus 25% off. This was so cute, and while I think it's a little heavy to wear in the summer months, I 
think I could throw it on maybe when it gets chilly in the evenings, but I like the idea of rocking this as a winter white with some of my slip dresses, with some leather pants, with jeans. The styling possibilities are endless. I just really love it and I loved the fit of this. It was super cute. Price is right. So this was a like, yes, as soon as I saw it. Last piece I picked up was this dress and it was exactly what I had wanted when I talked about my wish list. And this was $9.99. I love the colors. I love the fit. I feel like this was fit and made for me. I'm excited to style this up with some simple jewelry, with some heels, with flat sandals. And I think I could even wear this when we are in Japan because it's just very lightweight. This is giving me like those vacation vibes that I mentioned that I was going for with the pieces that I bought. So I found exactly what I wanted thrifting today. I love when that happens. And that's why I always say it's important to have a good list when you go out and thrift because it's going to keep you hyper focused on the things that you really need but don't ignore the pieces that are standouts the pieces that you know are going to fill voids in your closet and the pieces that you just love because nothing keeps me up at night like vintage i didn't buy so that's why i grabbed the sweater and that's why i will never leave behind an amazing find i'm so glad i was able to check off so many of my summer essentials off my list i'm still looking for those good two-piece sets in linen or cotton but i also remembered i thrifted a linen dress a couple of months ago that needs to be reworked so maybe i can turn it into a two-piece and if i do i will share that with you as always thank you so much for tuning in be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you next friday at 8 a.m bye